I hope that y'all can hear me. Tell me in the chat if you can hear me. Let's go. Today is girl plant the vegetable garden day Oh, we got to that nice from Texas That is where we got now Jeanette Larson, how you doing? Tell me today in the chat Oh, oh, you You're making my stream come true Ooh, ooh, ooh That's the parody I should have done from the beginning Oh, oh, you Making my stream come 
How about Michael Bionic Gino? I'm Donna and my fan. Oh, you. You're making my dream come true. Let me see. What about Michael Bionic Gino? There are several phyla in the animal kingdom. There are little microcellular organisms like amoeba and protists. Are they animals? Not really. Over you. This is verses are too short. You're making my dream come true. What's the problem with doing science parodies of songs with songs done in many words? Oh, you. Says misconceptions about climate change. Let's see what we can do for that. Some people say the climate's warming anyway. All over Earth's history, and that's well, that's a fact. But the fact is, it doesn't warm at this rate usually. CO2 doesn't go up quite so drastically Yeah, it was like 50 degrees warm a long ago And that was good for ferns and dinos But I don't know about me and you Oh, we have built our whole society On this particular climate, see The Earth as a whole will be okay But not so much you and me what happens to the bread baskets? What happens to the wheat fields? What happens to the desert regions that get no rain and get no yield? Oh, oh. you gotta think about it. A thousand year warming a thousand years ago was really local. It wasn't really a global phenomenon, no. And yes, we do follow some Milankovitch cycles. But the fact is, this ain't one of them. Oh, oh, you. You're making my dream come true. Oh, you. Making my dream come true. Is asking, do science parody music videos count as fair use? I really want to make some, but I'm not sure, but I'd get copyrighted. Do I use the music in public domain? Uh, more llamas. The fact is that fair use law is, it's very case by case, so it's very hard to say on a, on a universal basis what is fair use and what is not. Um, it depends on your jurisdiction, so in particular, um, in Canada, what I do is pretty clearly um, covered under what's called fair dealing, or... Um, but in the states, it's a lot trickier, so I'm I'm abiding by YouTube's guidelines as well as you know, like it's a whole mess of Canadian law and like U.S. actual copyright law, international copyright law, and the fact that YouTube has its own guidelines and like deals it's worked out with record labels and such. So how it works on YouTube is you can watch this. Tom Scott has a good video about this, but uh, if you if you watch uh, Tom Scott's video, of course you can just hear it from me right now. Um, YouTube has worked out deals with most most labels concerning their own music, so that you know they like get a portion of our ad revenue and whatever they claim the song. You can fight it if you want, but it's it's pretty much up to YouTube's arbitration. And YouTube gives a lot of power to the labels to decide these things, and uh, you got to uh, uh, like. So if you put your video on YouTube, you you you're probably not going to get sued, but you probably also won't make a lot of money from ads. Um, whether someone could technically sue me over, like, Patreon revenues or something, um, is a little less clear. Um, I think they could probably go after Patreon, but it would be harder for them to come after me, because I'm based in the States. So they'd probably go after Patreon, and Patreon would have, have problems with it, and they, you know, if this became a serious issue, then Patreon might kick me off the site or something. Um, but, uh... There's not a lot of people trying to tell
take down the copyrights. <laughs> Internet copyright violators. Cause we're good for the brand most of the time. We keep their viral meme machine chugging. Like if you wanted to go after people stealing movie clips and posting them as gifts, you probably could. But the PR wouldn't be great. It's not like I'm making enough revenue for it to be worth their legal fees. But yeah, the whole, the entire internet is based on really shaky IP principles. Of internet, you know. Big house of cards. Law wasn't built for the 21st century. We hold you. thinks I'll be a millionaire. If I become a millionaire, Sean Ale, and then I get into a big lawsuit, I will at least have an interesting life, and that's really all that I care about, so it sounds good. Um, it's a pretty good bass line. I don't think this is actually the original uh, bass line of, of making my dreams come true, but I like it. It's, it's very, uh, very rock and roll. online and make enough to survive so I can have an interesting life if you try to take that away from me by giving me copyright liability I'm gonna laugh in your face oh and you you're making my stream come true Are we back? Hello? Hello, hello. Tell me if we're back. Tell me if we are back. Oh. What a garbage mess. <laughs> what a mess today's stream is. Oh dear. I think I've, one of the problems is I've got got the actual streams playing. Yeah, that might be a problem. I've got too many instances of video opened up on on my laptop. I don't know. Some it's, it wasn't an update. I'm just it, it just just blue screened on me. I just went. We're we're you, and we need to restart now. And also like. Can someone tell me what's up with Windows 10? Where now if if it blue screens on you. You have no choice but to let them collect info, because... Because first of all, I don't like that for privacy reasons, but second of all... Sometimes I need to restart fast! <laughs> Also, I'm gonna have to update my PC to Windows 10 now. Because Adobe has stopped supporting. It's Windows 7. So now my, my Windows 10 is updating, is up, Adobe is updating, and then my stuff can't run across, across my different computers. Very annoying. Okay. Oh, it's generating a crash report. You can examine that if you have the right software to determine the cause of the crash. Okay, that's I'm fine. That's useful. 
That's probably useful, actually. Um, let's do a song. All right, here's what we're gonna do. This is this this is supposed to be Nanobot. This is how I would start Nanobot. But let's not do Nanobot. Let's do like a totally different acapella science song in this in the style of, of Nanobot. What should we do? I don't know. Oh, popped up chorus could work. Oh, that's not what it has to be. Hmm. Popped up chorus. Did that work? Evo Devo? Hmm. That would work, but it's very slow, isn't it? We can make it work. Some good harmonics there. Super he could have 
of hell on a fire while the night exists Singing all the other stars with the buzz, 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 buzz. mashup it kind of worked worked after the after the beginning of it hello everybody so couple things one is this is the last week of these streams on this channel they're not it's not the last week of these streams anywhere but it's the last week of streams on this channel um, in future these streams will be happening on new ACS Live channel. Link, first link in the description, uh, ACS Live. So go subscribe to that, put on your notifications so that if you're, uh... yeah, the chat will still be, chat will still live, the, the, the Twitch will still live. You can still watch me, watch this on Twitch, no problem. Um, Twitch's not gonna change, but we're gonna take this off the main channel. As, as we, uh, as we transition this channel back to producing actual acapella science videos I'm gonna separate it out so we have you know people who just want to enjoy music videos um, they can enjoy them here all of the past streams the past 51 streams are now archived on ACS live uh, public so there's no no more of that like going and finding unlisted videos if you want to find them in the playlist or whatever I'm gonna update the the playlist on here so that it links to those instead and then I'll just get rid of these videos on here um, so the the View counts will go away, but whatever. Who cares about view counts? Nobody cares about view counts. There's this weird thing going on that goes on in like um, YouTuber circles where if people have like a correction to a video, to like one of their videos, they're like, I can't delete my video I'll d and re upload it because I'll get rid of the views. It's like, okay, but those views are past. They, they happened. You just won't get the little number anymore to boost your ego. I don't know. It probably, it probably does affect like like the further reach of the video and stuff. But... It's not like these videos were bombshells. Um, yes to more music. So, <laughs> sorry, Alice. Um, didn't realize, of oh, that's true. If you go and subscribe to it, all of the videos are gonna pop. Okay, I apologize for that. Um, that is a, <laughs> a one-time feature. I wonder if there's, there's not really any way to turn that off, is there? If you, if like if I if the videos are kept public, there's no way to keep public videos out of subscription boxes. I don't think. Um, so sorry about that. Um, the other thing is that we have a daily discussion today. We have a daily discussion. We have a daily discussion. It's what is your favorite piece of art? So go and tell me that in the Discord. Okay. Mm Let's do okay. Let's do that again. That was kind of fun. Um, okay, this time we're gonna we're gonna start with the the bits the, the the Evo Devo lines, and then let's pick another song to sing to it. Oops. Okay, what song should we put over the Evo Devo feel? Banting. M Soul is pretty. The shape of you is pretty close, actually. They're not all that different. Hmm. Take exams? Take exams could work. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. 
start now. Making memory aids. Haven't slept in days. Haven't slept in days. Two weeks I haven't shaved. And I got no time to bathe. But I gotta get an A. Mm-mm. Gotta get an A. Mm-mm. Man, this is grueling. Can't stop shovel fooling. Should I try to homeschooling? Why my mom tell me it's gonna be alright? Cause the grade is gonna grade, 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 grade. And the save is gonna say, 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 say. And the punch is gonna take, 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 take. Take it then, take it then. Bitch, the theater is gonna win, 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 win. It's like a show where play, 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 play. I'm just gonna take, 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 take. Take it then, take it then. 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 I'm cribbing on my sheet I got papers to complete And things are looking bleak oh. And things are looking bleak oh. I'm dancing on my notes But I can't make up my prose oh. I don't know what I don't know oh, Know what I don't know oh, Man, this is too hard Get these tiny cue cards Pass that box of you cards Tell me it's gonna be alright Cause I raise, I wanna raise, 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 raise I'm straight to just raise, 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 raise. I hate to make a mistake, take, 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 take Take his hands, take his hands My brain train is gonna train, 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 train My brain is gonna strain, 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 strain I'm just gonna take, 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 take Take his hands, take his hands 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 I take it in, I take it in, you got to I take it on, I take it in, I take it in, I take it in. Hey, hey, hey. Just think, well, you've been stuck at style, guys. And dirty multiple choice questions of the world. You could have been getting down to this sick root vegetable. Hey, 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 my exam's got another question, but there's no time left, and I'm just gonna skip it to the fella over there with the hella squeaky chair. You're fidgeting, it's more than I can take. Hey, uh, to the fella over there with the hella squeaky chair. You know you got the hella good hair. To the fella over there, stop squeaking the chair. It's more than I can take, 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 take. Oh, 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 Bitch, I think it's gonna wait Take it in, oh, and the second show I play Take it in, oh, and my neck is gonna take Take it in, I'm gonna take it in Take it in, oh, someday I get a break, break, break From this tiny alpha fade, fade, fade But for now I gotta take, take, take I gotta do it, take it in, take it in Then my gravy and I'll be great, great, great But I finally get scared, scared, scared But so then I gotta take, 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 take Take it in, take it in, take it in That kind of worked. That worked a little bit. A little bit. Okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go down to the... Oh, do, do. I'm feeling right now. We're gonna do some kind of walking bass like this. See?
All right. <laughs> so can we go to the daily discussion? Today the daily discussion is going to be a little more jazz feeling. We can put back on the megaphone a little bit. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should we have chords? Is it the way everything is fractured? Master Origami likes YouTube videos. Alice, why are you Master Origami? Hey, that's okay. I like your smile. Oh. Alex cannot, says Tchaikovsky. Serenade for strings is my favorite piece of art, at least right now. Alex, I gotta listen to more Tchaikovsky. I pretty much only know uh, Nutcracker. And probably if you only know Nutcracker, you don't really know anything, right? Tchaikovsky didn't even like Nutcracker, alright? Serenade for strings. Put that on a list. Um, myself. You're, you're your favorite piece of art. That's right. Alright. You, you go with that. Mm. Okay, this is very cheesy. I'll try again. From among the art that I have created, I'm most proud of the bilingual lullaby I wrote. The music is not complicated, but it's soothing. It actually helps me sleep. Nice. It's good to like your own art. It's rare that one likes one own, one's own art. I think most artists dislike like 90% of their art. So if you find, if you make something that you're like, yeah, that actually, that actually was genuinely good. That was art. I'm proud of that. Hold on to it. From other people, Skillet. Oh, Skillet. Oh, uh, that last night. I know that song. Man. I wasn't aware that weird industrial Christian bands had made it to the mainstream. But I guess this album, that album was pretty popular. The skillet of the one with that that song on it, and they pretty much abandoned their uh, their Christian shtick and just become like a hard rock band at that point. That song that, that when I was about seventeen, I listened to that album constantly. That's that particular skillet album. I never heard with Temptation though. Oh yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, and the ultimate art made by nature. Falling leaves in autumn. You mean falling leaves in song? You mean fall by uh, Vivaldi? No, just falling leaves. You must stare at them and crunch every single one. Falling leaves. Oh. <laughs> now you like Starry Night by Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Gogh. Anything by Van Gogh, really. But that one is absolutely my favorite. Yeah, it's so trippy, huh? There's a theory that Van Gogh had like 
either crazy, uh, like things in his eyes, or that he had something in his brain that was basically giving him DMT all the time, or like some sort of mild hallucinogenic. So like that's what he was actually seeing. Chinese very tasty videos. Yeah. Ah. Sophia says I consider video games. Or at least a certain genre of them to be art. That makes my favorite piece of art the game Abzu. It's very pretty and tells a neat story without using any of the words. Nice. What is Abzu? Sophios. Tell me in the chat if you're there. Oh yeah. Alice, yeah, I know you like origami. That's great. That's pretty awesome. Doing that. Zach S thinks writing is probably his favorite artistic medium. Followed shortly by music with or without vocals. I really like short, impactful stories like Andy Weir's The Egg. Or As Asimov's the last question. Last question is fantastic. I don't know the egg. Can you link me to the egg, Zach? I'm always on the lookout for stories like that. I used to read those in, uh, when I was trying, when I was supposed to be learning calculus in university. I don't have a single favorite, but I really enjoy short, profound ideas expressed through words. Yeah, something really nice. About something succinctly said that captures it in words. Favorite written illustrated art. Sandman series by Neil Gaiman. Gaiman? Gaiman? I don't know how his name is pronounced. I know he's married to Amanda Palmer. Um, what's the Sandman about? Is it about like the, the Spider-Man Sandman? I like it everything. Mam Guzian says it's impossible to choose one favorite piece of art. Oh. But my favorite art form is fluid art. As known, so known as acrylic pouring. Ah, which I discovered accidentally on YouTube. I love the fact that the internet means the creation of art can be a performance art. Oh, that's true. That's what I'm trying to do on Twitch. And maybe right here a little bit. That is pretty cool Gutenberg type stuff. So they are in particular, some of the art in particular is spectacular, but there's also simple stuff that inspires you to have a go. It also works on fluid dynamics. Oh, oh, oh. sweet. I've really been enjoying those, uh, that, the fella that makes his own guitars out of strange household, or strange things. Pretty sweet. Um. Sophia says, Abzu, it's my interpretation, but Abzu is a game where you are a diver and discover the remnants of a, for, a lost underwater society and more about your character's origins. Nice. Yeah. Some games are really beautiful. Braid was a really cool, like, simple vehicle game. I'm a simple person, says LeVool. I like the classics. Statue of David. Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Jack Max. Malzuski's Okinka. Woodsuanach. And Alphonse Mucha's any Everything. Oh, and Pan Volodoyovsky. Vol Volodoyovsky? Pan Volodoyovsky, if I got that right. How do you do an L with a cross in it? I think of it. I, I mean, you, start, you started with two that I know, but these, these last three, I've, I have no idea. I've never heard of any of them. Are they pieces of music? <laughs> Sandman is about seven proto-gods that hold sway over all things. It focuses on the Archon, Archon of Dream, but features death, desire, destruction, despair, destiny. Right. All these, for no reason except that Gaiman can do it. Clever enough to figure it out how to make it work. Nithin says all airplanes are a piece of art. But Nithin, what about really terrible paper airplanes that I put no thought into? Those, are those still art? I mean, air, airplanes are fantastic pieces of engineering. And, like, there's a lot of art in engineering. Like, 
Oh, and there's a lot of engineering and art. Like, people don't realize how much of art is technical. Like, like, like working within what physics allows you to do in the medium that you make. And that's what engineering is, too. It's like you have a problem to solve. I think the main difference between engineering and, and art usually is that the problem being solved in engineering is a practical one. It's like we want to make a machine to do a thing. And the problem being solved with art is an expressive one. But there's elements of both, both, right? Like there's there, within any engineering, there's like there's a bunch of leeway in the there's usually some leeway in the design where you can like fit. I mean, with the planes, it might be like the interior design or the paint job or whatever. Um, but it's also true that things that are designed to to fit physics instead of are like straight angular lines are often surprisingly beautiful. Like those engine blocks that were that you know machine learning algorithms have come up with to maximize strength to weight ratios, they look like majestic trees and root structures, and that's really beautiful. I mean, the same way that actual trees and root structures are majestically beautiful. What was I talking about, Nathan? You got me on a sidetrack. I like it. Jamie says nature as a whole. Oh. Everything is art. Is anything art? Mm. Aurora 86. Favorite piece of art. Depends on your definition of art. I'm a big fan of religious artworks like the Sistine Chapel. Oh. Ma. Oh, Tim's on Twitch now. It says Zothmeyer. Yes, Zothmeyer. Here I am. I'm also on YouTube doing a streamed live, man. But we're gonna be on here, and after this, we're gonna stay on Twitch today and look at some footage of me. Try to turn it into something sensible, presuming that our if our software agrees with us. So stay on Twitch and watch me later all day long. Whoa. Era 56 likes classical music also. It's usually nice. And remixes like TSO are awesome. I went to see TSO and Severian Orchestra. My mom won tickets from the CBC radio because no one calls into CBC radio. It's our Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And she did. And so she... Oh, there goes my phone. My phone is on the ground. She won tickets to the TSO. The one thing I really remember is that they have a lot of pyrotechnics and it was very hot on my face. I was young at the time. They're fun, although I feel like... To be honest, whenever Trans-Siberian Orchestra stops, this, this is a problem I have with a lot of like sort of uh, metal or rock groups that do uh, do classical, like they do like the great you know like great works of Mozart or Bach or you know Tchaikovsky or whatever. Is that like I feel like whenever they whenever they do original stuff, often it just doesn't measure up because they're like you took this iconic like once in 200 years type work and you adapted it into an awesome metal thing and then you have to put other songs on the rest of the album and it's like how are you how are you ever gonna i don't know it's like the same problem as trying to do bohemian rhapsody as your second video on a youtube channel and then you can never think of an idea that says as good as that one hey bringing it back to myself what i do best Okay, very engrossed by fluid dynamics. Ooh, you should look at uh, these acrylic pouring stuff we were talking about up above. I'm Guzian. Hook error raft 86 up with some acrylics. Hmm. Non Euclidean dreamer like Salvador Dali. The soft watch, for example. Yeah. Yeah, non Euclidean. Dali is one of my favorites. It's like, I. I. I, I think with your. I don't know, maybe with your, with your obsession with fractals, you and I share a, a love of the bizarre. Just things that are like, they're like, they're, for, they're forms, but they have alien forms. I don't know. Dolly's, Dolly's trippy, and I like it. it. Reminds me of my own dreams. It makes me dream of new things. And for music, the soundtrack of The Fountain. What's The Fountain? Is that a movie? Oh, yeah. Jamie O oh, with music counts in the heights da, 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 far away. Whoa. 
You probably never heard my name Thoughts of my fame are greatly exaggerated Exacerbated by the fact that my syntax is highly complicated Cause I immigrated from a little place in the Caribbean Dominican Republic, I love it Jesus, I'm jealous of it mm. Back something on time, my god, I haven't gone back. God damn, I gotta get on that. Bad mojo monkey. Do you mean the persistence of memory? Oh, is that what the soft clock paintings are called? I presume the acapella science on YouTube are given. I don't know, maybe some people are just casual viewers and they don't actually, they, they, they don't put me on their top five. I don't know if I put me on my top five. I'm not a casual viewer. I just gotta be me. Original signed George Brach. My mom passed away a couple of years ago. Who's George Brach? That's pretty cool. But it's like it's very it's very posterized, isn't it? It's like a it doesn't look like a painting. It looks like a press. Is that a press? My mom loved art in all its forms. And I got all of it when she passed. Not sure if I have a favorite. Still gotta go through it. About a hundred or so paintings and also sculptures, music, opera, poetry, and so on. She had some, some Picasso, which went to my brother. Wow. My mom wasn't necessarily into certain names. Maybe whether or not she liked it, even the artist is completely unknown. Rest in peace to your mom, Catherine. Um, it's really cool that you got to keep all of her uh, art and look through it. Explore it. She sounds like quite a collector. Oh, did Dolly do sculptures and stuff? I didn't know that. Teach science and sleep. Wow! I had the opportunity to see the Venus de Milo once at the Louvre in Paris. It took me quite by surprise. I'd seen her in books and TV, but I was not prepared to see her live. It literally took my breath. I stood and looked at her from all sides for an hour. You always see her front, but her back is so perfect. I could not get my mind to believe it was stone. Never forget that. Yeah. There's an element of had to be there with a few forms of art, isn't there? Like you can get a facsimile of the experience by seeing videos or pictures, but being in the presence of something, there's really no substitute for that. People go and see live shows of bands, even though the bands have perfected the song on the album. Live shows, theater performances, but like any any sort of art, like even even if there's no real reason for it. Like if I got to sit at Jacob Collier's console where he makes music, there's nothing that's not digital about that entire experience, but it'd still be like, whoa, I'm here. You know? My favorite piece of art. What really counts? You choose. Some people would consider the universe a work of art. I suppose. But are those are those people you? I don't know. It's your question. Mine is just nature. Well, that is nature is my favorite work of art. Okay, I guess I you answered my question. Do you do consider the universe to be art? Oh. Backwards by Matthias. Is an amazing song with an amazing lyrics behind it. Okay, Raphael. Matthias, huh? Thanks, Raphael, for saying acapella music, my acapella music. And animation and VFX, oh yeah. VFX is interesting. It's designed not to be noticed. Ayala had a good tweet poll or about what are, what are those things that people often look down upon because they only notice them because the only time that they're visible is when they're done badly. One of them is definitely VFX. Makeup is like that, right? Um, VFX is certainly like that. People are always like, this C CGI is terrible. And uh, it's, only, it's only bad CGI that, that you would even notice as CGI. The rest just passes you by, right? Um, David Barrett says spiders. Spiders are a thing that's only bad when they're seen. Yeah, <laughs> I'd agree with that. It's not quite what I was going for, for sure. 
I mean, a lot of aspects of art are like that. You only really notice the mix of a song if it's off, you know, by the mastering. It's like, oh, Metallica has no bass, or they, they ruined their, their clipping. It's the only time that a lot of rock fans have ever made a comment about the mixing of the work. They never comment when it's good, they're just like, this rocks. I really like paintings by Van Gogh. We got another for Van Gogh. And old war propaganda posters from all over the world. Interesting. Hmm. Propaganda is an interesting category. Because, like, is it art? It's like, like there's sort of there, there's art for its own sake, and then there's art in the service of something, right? And I guess propaganda is, is like very blatantly art in the service of something. But like the you know the propaganda posters that uh, the Dr. Seuss made still featured his like quirky cartoon characters. And I'm a sucker for Dixieland Jazz. Mm, yeah. Feel that? The barbershop and acapella. Isaac S gave me the egg. A short story. Oh, Kreska's dad told it. Alright, sweet. You chew like Gustav hosts the planets. Alright, we're gonna look at that later. Gustav Holtz, oh yeah, originator of all modern movie scoring, basically, John Williams. I mean, most modern movie scoring is riffing off the, you know, 18th and, you know, 19th and 20th centuries of classical music. It's like, the the classical people moved on, they were like, this is boring, because it's, we've done everything, and then all the movie composers were like, okay, well we can still use this, we're just gonna... We're gonna use all of your, your tropes that you think are passe and put them to film in a whole new mashup, mix up medium. Maybe that's how art generally goes. You fish out the pond of doing the one thing as it's supposed to be done, like by itself, its purest form. Then you gotta mash it together. Welcome to the age of the mashup. Oh, if games are allowed! Monument Valley! Beautiful, Escheresque, impossible geometry. Ooh! Sounds good. Are we just having a conversation about spiders now? In the chat? Hey, here's Abzu. Oh, this is beautiful. This is this is this is art for sure. Man, so yes. I like it. I might go find this game. It sounds really cool. Oh, Escher. Escher, Escher. Oh yeah. Well folks, it looks like we got Lots of cool daily discussions in the chat. Hey, Dr. Seuss made propaganda, yes he did. Oh yeah. Propaganda posters for the U.S. Theodore Geisel was Jewish and not a fan of the Nazis. Creative pro oh, we can do creative projects. Let's do creative projects. What do you say? Let's see what we got in the creative projects. Throw that back up there. We might have to stop the, uh... Might have to stop the music, or at least tune it down, depending on what kind of creative projects we got going on today. Let's see. Okay, I gotta find where I last left off. I don't miss things. Hey. What have I seen? There's Frodo for some reason. This is a long conversation. I think, I think we've seen this one. What is this? This is a meme about South End Music Space. I feel like this more this would more go in memes. Um, but also I don't get it. Because I haven't been following the conversation. Let's see. Southern Music. Here's an example of a grid with equilateral triangles calculating with the graph-based approach. What's going on here? I feel I saw something very similar to this on Twitter recently. But so then music, I can't say I entirely understand what's happening. It looks like the like the corners are what spawns new. Uh, 
triangles, so there's some sort of rule about only spawning a new triangle if there's like two neighbors or something like that. Is that what's going on? It's like a, it's a cellular automaton of some kind. Did I miss something? Oh, there is more stuff up here. Ah! I am the fastest spinner. Okay, we gotta keep going up. Y'all like keep making projects, but you also... Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna just look for images. Because there's, there's too much chat in creative projects. As... We're gonna go backwards. Um, you chew, you, you keep making these things. Ooh, this looks like a creature falling into a black hole. Sweet. It's like, a, it's like an apple, an iMac. Yeah, it's just so hard to fall. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to go backwards. It's gonna be a little weird. Bubbles, another concept figuring singularity. Goodness. You two, you've got a whole world going on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to read all this without running out of time. Um, but I will admire your art, because the art's really cool. Tired. Depending, the multiverse is very draining. Mary C has a poem. Oh, this is a. Uh, this is my my quarantine lyrics put into a uh, put into poem form with a a shot from CERN, I believe. Yeah, that's the stern stuff in the background. It's the op opening shot from, uh, uh, started from the bottom. Hey, here's you choose, uh, you choose cake creatures running out of time. Getting spaghettified, maybe. Mm. Equinox has got more of these, uh, these purple and pink banners going on. You two, this one's really cool. This one I, I, I'm a big fan of. This is iconic. Right here. Non Euclidean Dreamer going more with the cellular automata, I think. These pictures, I don't understand them, but I like them. I trade you in some eyeshadow. Sweet uh, sunset eye going on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bubbles. These are like uh, worm. Ah, wormholes. Nice. That secondary lensing it wouldn't work properly. Not bad. I think your wormholes need more, more. Yeah, more lensing like out, outside of them too. That's pretty trippy though. I like it. Husband's out of black hole. Spacecraft exiting wormhole. You two, you're prolific. You're doing a lot of stuff. Is it, are you are you like you have like a backlog of this that you're sharing with us, or is this just like you're doing this every day? Sweet. Oh yeah. Hey, there's me. My my here. That's a thing you need to work out with mathematics. It's not even physics. Just statistical mechanics. Are we trying to make a? Oh man, okay, so you're actually doing this live. Here's, Tim, here's some fan art by Sophios. Don't believe anything I say, I'm an artist. <laughs> uh, don't. Yeah, don't even believe that. In fact, from, aside from being an artist, I'm also a liar. So, don't believe me when I say I'm a liar. Improved Homea! Oh, nice. 
these look like electrical pylons, like the ones that fell down. This is like one that fell down in a nice storm. They are electrical pylons. High voltage pylons and other 108 degree, what is this? 108 degree line fractals. Cool. I like it. It's trippy. Hey, there's Eric Cousins Live. Have you signed up to ACS Live? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you a ACS Live subscriber yet? It's over here. It's, a, it's just click, just down. Right, right down there, down there in the description. Going, it's 42. Oh, never mind. Don't subscribe. We don't have more than 42. 42 is the life, the universe, etc. How many times can we quote the same line from Douglas Adams and still find it amusing? Oh, yeah. Here's a number file video. You didn't make that. Oh, we're back to these things. Okay. Oh, memes. There's a fidget spinner. That's also a meme. I do like this meme. This is, this is a good meme. I, I accept it. Lots of spins. Okay, chat, 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 and more you choose. I don't know what's going on here. This looks like these look like comic book panels. Is, is this a comic book or, or videos you're making, you two? Ah! Lack of tighter forces. We found something fast. Look. Oh, it's, a, it's an asteroid. Near an asteroid 2008 HJ has been spotted. I don't have any voice actors. You two, do all the voices. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I am an asteroid. I don't know. Make it work. And you do what you can, right? If it's bad, it'll be good within a hundred episodes, I promise. It might be bad for the first 90. But by the hundredth, it'll be pretty good. That's how art goes. Okay, how do these rules work? Rules are, a live cell stays live if it has less than four neighbors. Dead cell becomes live if it has exactly two neighbors. This is what we were doing with the, uh, with, with the, the crazy snowflake. Ah! I'm the fastest spinner. This is a nine gag post. So then, we gotta keep memes and creative projects, uh, separate a little bit. Hey! Took a character sprite from the Ace Attorney game and built it in Minecraft. This is in Minecraft? Or is this the, the original? Wow. Lois, Lois made some hot chocolate. Nice. This is the whole... Okay, this is the, the whole video about hot chocolate. Um, you should never... You, I'm not gonna watch it, the whole thing, but you see what the ingredients are. We put in milk. We add the dark chocolates. Cinnamon is my secret ingredient. If you like it thick, you can add cream or hazelnut cream, but not too much. Stir until homogenous. Oh, attempt, but way too much whipped cream, yes. Sprinkle chocolate powder and don't forget more cinnamon. Nom. That looks delicious. Game of Hive. What is it? Here are the rules to it again. Oh, uh, you got like toroidal boundary conditions here. What happens when it meets? Does it close up and end? Sweet. Cool fractally tile patterns out of this rule. Cellular automaton. Mm -hmm. I think we got we got up to where we, we were before. So that's gonna be it for creative projects. So really cool, guys. I like that we're doing more of this.
Fibonacci flowers. Thank you, Xiao Wei Wang. Xiao Wei Wang. Zomba. Looks like Mobius boundary conditions. That looked like looked looked toroidal to me. I don't know. I don't know about anybody else. Mobius seems. I mean, you, you can't do. It was, it, it was boundary conditions on the top and the bottom, so it was either Mo, it was either Tor, Taurus or Klein bottle. Minecraft? It, if, if. The problem with making something so good that it's indistinguishable from it being filming in Minecraft that's so good that it's indistinguishable from a group of pixels is that people don't even realize what you've done. They're just like, oh, there's a group of pixels. I have that problem. I've, I've learned to walk that line with acapella production because there was a while where I did it to the point where my acapella productions didn't sound like acapellas. I mean, I still do that occasionally. And then people don't even realize it's acapella. Even though the channel's called Acapella Science, they're like, oh, is this all, is this instruments? And you're like, no, no, of course not. Um, but if your facsimile is too close to life, then people just think it's life and they don't appreciate your facsimile. It's a tricky problem. You can tell it's Minecraft because of the background. Yeah, that would that would work if I played Minecraft. Um, let's do another song. Let's do uh, something in the style of the science lo of love, but not the science of love. says Lego. Oh, I like Nanobot. No, yeah. Let's take a suggestion from Twitch. Oh, oh to plan a Nanobot. Map out the Molecules to span a nanobot. Map on the motors used to man a nanobot. Signals to talk with our commander. Software and logic scrammer. Programmed in nanobot. Hold on. We gotta do this proper. I just realized that this is love isn't always on time and I like that song so can... Used to man a nanobot. 
say no to talk with a commander Software and logic grammar Programmed in nano Getting you better control the movement The thermal storm Temperature systems are always moving Your systems moving Pieces and links you give a limit the states it can as is it all randomly shuffle through them now force it with the right view ordered and energetic a bias in the setup adding entropy to Oh, no. 
interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That was fun. What are we going to do now? I sent a six second video in the Discord that uses motion tracking and CGI if you want to check it out. Raphael, we'll have to do that next stream because we already did creative projects, but we will look at it eventually. One more? Should we do one more song? That was fun. Um, now let's do... Um, yeah. Is there an after stream for Twitch? Only this time there is an after stream and as for as many days as it takes me to edit this darn video cuz the video is shot and needs to be edited and I think that and we're gonna edit it live together and I think it's not gonna take too long what we have to do today is we've got to do you've got to do, go through all of there is yes there is um, there's so there definitely is going to be an after stream stream on Twitch today um, and then it'll probably, it'll definitely continue for as long as I'm editing the quarantine video. So I'll bring you guys along for that ride. Um, but that might, honestly, that might only be today. It depends. I've got to do a bunch of syncing between the two of them, between my two computers, because I was working on my laptop and now I'm not, um, but, uh, yeah. So I, I gotta yeah, get it back. But anyways, um, we'll be definitely today will maybe be tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Will maybe be all week. Even after we're done publishing this video, then we'll go, we'll probably go right to work on cleaning up the QFT song and doing animation. So. I think we're gonna do, we got to sing about science? Ah, we could do one more song. Okay, let's do uh, let's do uh, something a song in the style of Rolling in the Higgs. But mm, let's do Rolling in the Higgs in another style, because I can't do uh, I can't do Rolling the Higgs in the original style very well. Yeah, Alice, we got uh, field vibrations for the next video after after this quarantine one. Um, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, Rolling in the Higgs in the style of Kendrick Lamar. Oh man, nope. <laughs> no, I can't do that. That's not going to work at all. Um, we can say Eva Devo again. <laughs> oh, goodness, more llamas. Okay, we're going to do Rolling in the Higgs in the style of... Does this work? Does this work today? Hey, yeah. I think that works. We're gonna do it, I don't harmonize the style. There's a collider under Geneva Reaching new energies that we never have seen before But finally we can see with this machine pick the upper a new data peak uh, 125GV oh, 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 see how whom you want and vector balls on steel to view us and gamma rays and then burst from something new there's a collider bonded and evap making one particle that we've never achieved before whoa whoa, whoa. a complex scalar Lucille Boson Escape Detection at the Lepentavitron The Complex Scaler What is its purpose? It's got me Pawn and the Pawn and the Pawn To the Phantom Bot An Appender Hard Order Without a Scan of Fear Well you're dead Whoa 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 Symmetry requires An Anani don't pull so we break it with the hings and a path to die with the hings now to 
sing about science. Let's kick it off. Whoops. Let's sing about science. We're gonna sing about... Did I forget to do anything today? Go subscribe and notify yourself for the ACS Live channel and go to the Discord and on the Twitch. We're gonna be here soon. Right now we're gonna kick it off. Oh, that's slower than usual. Cool. Let's do it. Sing about science, but we're gonna keep it funky, y'all. We're gonna keep it funky, y'all. We're gonna keep it funky, funky, funky. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll keep it funky. We'll keep it funky. We'll keep it funky. Gonna sing about science. We're gonna sing about science Oh, we're gonna sing about science Oh, 
We're gonna sing about science Oh, we're gonna sing about science Oh, we're gonna sing about science Give me things, just sing about science I don't care about being famous, we just want to sing about science yeah. Tell you, to sing about acids and bases You see, when acids and bases They come into the same places They neutralize themselves with each other What even are acids and bases? You see one takes all ages And puts more of them in water That's a base and the acid does the same with protons Oh yeah, uh-huh Now when I know H encounters an H And what's a form of us? Making water and they make water get it on, yeah. But if you have just one and it's got too many protons in the solution, you can't make enough water, no. Oh, oh, oh. Water always has a base rate of OH and H plus. Throw it in around it, 10 to the minus 7 molar ready, I think. That's a pH 7. Oh, a little pH 7. Then you upset the balance with an acid and it goes down fast, yeah. You can get H's going up to like 10 to the 1. 10 to the 1 is a pH of minus 1. That's crazy, son, but it's possible. Cause the pH scale is a logarithmic. And there's nothing to say that you can't get like a 1. I guess 1 would be really hard. 1 would be a molarity where it's entirely hydrogen. You probably can't do that. You can get, you can get things below, at, like at 0 though. Really, really good, yeah. Oh yeah, same bases in your faces. You got OHs, minuses in the water stream. If there's too many of them, they take away all the hydrogens. And all you left is with is OHs, yeah. So acids actually just bit water apart. They do? Yeah, they do. Some acids just split themselves apart. Some just attract bits of water. Mm. That's enough of that. Gonna sing about the science. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna sing about science. Can't have oh, more than one more more That's true. Science. Every gale fonseca. Oh, we're gonna sing about science. About that. Science. Oh, we're gonna sing about science. Oh, we're gonna sing about science. Let's see what we else we got in the chat. Mm. Simulation, Stephen Wolfram. You gotta know if you're in a simulation. But how will you ever know? What's the difference between physics and simulation? Is there even one though? See, as far as we know, physics is just mathematical rules. Going through some sort of time steps. Oh, isn't that also what a simulation would be? Also, so what is the difference? Are you saying that there is physics that can't be simulated? Or elements of simulation that can't be in physics? 
I don't know if I see the difference. I guess the difference is intentionality. If we are, uh, wait, wait, what, what are we doing? Uh, we were a simulation that implies some sort of deity, or at least something like an alien species or version of our own species. From the future, over different timelines simulating the past selves or their future selves or the alternate selves, oh. So is the question of simulation really a question of theology? I sort of think it is. After all this time trying to prove that there is no deity, maybe we'll decide that there is a simulated one, oh. What if we simulate God? That happen? Oh no. Hey, Rulo Sonic Boom, thanks. I appreciate it. I guess simulation is numerical, but physics is analytical. That's particularly strange to me. I don't think it is though. Why do we think physics is analytical? Just because so far we haven't seen the bottom of continua. But if you stand like a million miles from a screen, you can't tell it's pixelated either, can you? No. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Raphael Valavenis says, sing about mid-ocean ridges. You look like a geologist, Raphael. Maybe you can tell me what cool things are in geology cause I don't know what sedimentary petrology is but I would like to know mid-ocean ridges are forming when the plants plates go apart I think or is it when the plates go together? I think it's when the plates go apart new rock being formed from the depths oh yeah I mean simulations are also bound by equations I don't know, you simulate your physics equations, right? Are we done for the day? I think we're done on the stream for the day, except we're gonna go over to Twitch and maybe sing about science. Maybe we'll sing a little oh, more about science on Twitch. Oh, I done living in a simulation, oh, just licking the problem down the chain. Oh, yeah. Science. Yeah, I mean, if we do live in a simulation, oh, we also don't. Because the simulation is presumably physics. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe the simulation oh, isn't in a physical space. Maybe there is a deity that's just oh, imagining the whole human race. Deciding to simulate us. Oh, to decide which universe science. should actually be instantiated oh, in the physical laws. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tell me who you are in the chat so I can shout you out. Got now yeah, non Euclidean dreamer, manifest aloha, rice shoulder. Alex, yo, yo, what's up, Twitch? Raphael C, coming at you and me. We got Sarah Elder, Chino Hochi, Radislava Bonarova, Ann Smith, Gabrielle Fonseca, Mrs. Melissa Gevin, John White, Jonathan Haywood, Rulo Sonic Boom, Sean Ale, oh, dream by stream come true, Aurora of 86, Daniela Guerrero, we got, who else? Sarah Elder, Jan Hoffman, Zach S. Sophios, Aladila, Vishal Chauhan, Raphael Valavanis, yeah, have a good one, yo. I love her spirits in the chat, Isabel, yeah, I know about that. Aridalada is here again, all over the other stream, yeah, yo, my friend, oh. Check it out, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it out. The man goes again, still bopping, keep topping. Don't stop and keep your spirits up. You got a lot going on that you can live for. Mm. Gonna sing about. Gonna sing about. Wish I could do Michael Jackson moves. I can't. 
we're gonna sing about science. Okay, bye YouTube.